Hey everybody, it's Cass from Dermatel, and today we are talking about Xeroderma Pigmentosum. Have you ever heard about someone being allergic to the sun? Just an estimated 1 in 1 million people have the rare Xeroderma Pigmentosum, also known as XP. XP is not an allergy to the sun, as most believe, but is a hereditary condition where a person is very sensitive to sunlight because of a defect in their DNA repair system. The cause of XP is due to a person inheriting one recessive xeroderma pigmentosum gene from each parent. XP can occur in all races and in both sexes. There are usually three stages of XP, with the first stage starting around six months after birth. The first stage is characterized by reddening of the skin with scaling and freckles, starting around the face and moving to the neck and lower legs. After continued exposure, the second stage will set in. Irregular patches of lightened or darkened skin will appear as well as blood vessels and veins will show through the skin as it becomes thinner. The third stage is the development of skin cancers and acidic keratosis, an early form of squamous cell carcinoma. People who are diagnosed with XP and their families face many challenges in daily living. While there is no cure for XP, there are steps that patients can take to lead normal lives. The most important step is sun avoidance and sun protection. Those with XP must wear sun protection at all times, even indoors, to maintain high levels of protection to avoid any life-threatening damage. While UV radiation is damaging for any human, those with XP have extremely sensitive skin and can get skin cancer much more easily than the average person. Sun protection not only includes broad spectrum sunscreens, but also UV protecting clothing, sunglasses, and hats. While we are always stressing that everyone wear sunscreen and make it a part of their daily routine, those with XP must wear it all day and reapply regularly. The major worry with XP is getting skin cancer. As stated, to avoid getting a diagnosis, those with XP must wear sun protection at all times. It's also been shown that oral retinoids decrease the incidence of skin cancer in patients with XP as well. Oral retinoids are used to help with a number of skin conditions, from psoriasis to acne, as they work through the vitamin A pathways. Gene therapy for XP is also still being studied, but will hopefully result in more treatments for XP, making the lives of those diagnosed much easier. That's all for today. Stay sun safe and we'll see you next time. Thanks guys. Bye.